last stream it went down a little bit lower kind of volume wise and i noticed that there was a, the, the stream before that well actually someone uh, pointed out uh okay i should say someone pointed out that the last stream was a little bit lower and then i went back one earlier and noticed that the first five minutes something happened with the sound so i want i don't know if i caught it then or what because i don't think i remember adjusting anything but i think maybe checking the stream as weird as it sounds may have helped so anyway, i think maybe checking the stream may hear me again may have helped, so. hold on may, you may hear double there for a second Hopefully you don't. Or maybe even the sound on my computer make, made a bit. The sound on my. Okay, I think it made a bit better difference. I don't know. We'll see. There's some some something kind of weird going on with the sound. I think in some of our in some of our in some of the streams we've been doing. So hopefully this one is a lot better. If not, I'm going to be talking a little bit louder. Sorry if it's gone normal. It feels like I'm shouting. I just want to make sure that if for some reason it happens again, um, it's still kind of, you don't have to turn it really high up. Um, so I'm going to be trying to, to speak a little bit louder, at least for today, um, and see if that affect uh, if the uh, volume is all right. So let's continue on. So we got our crew here. Uh, I think most of, I think we were, you know, we mostly just chatted yesterday because we were getting a lot of money. <laughs> with mining everything like that uh, we got everyone kind of bundled up here in the uh and we got a lot of food bundled, but they're everyone that pretty much is bundled up here in the bar so we're going to try to get everybody to go to the mines real quick so we can do a little bit more mining i don't want to spend two whole episodes we've spent quite a few episodes at least touching the mine at some mines at some point but I don't want to do. I don't want to overdo mining here. I think we, you know, last episode we talked all about taking risks and kind of embracing, uh, embracing like uh, danger or flaws. And I think that it'd be really better to actually do that with our cast here than just talk about it uh, in the theoretical. Oh, we got all the human mercenaries are walking around. We need to kind of lead by example, I think, here with our little crew here. I think, uh, and also once it's daylight, we'll be able to do some stuff. But until until we actually run into some people to mess around with, I think we it'll be all right to to just for the moment have some people just do normal normal stuff. So we'll have these two mine. We'll have Bard mine as well. We'll have Griff Griffin and Inu go and do the copper uh load to run in the middle and hiroto um there's not really much for hiroto to do i'm kind of hoping those bandits come back around because those would be a good group of people to attack to you know to mess around with just so that because they generally hungry bandits typically have it's funny because I believe in a previous video, I was really not wanting to mess around with them. I was wanting to mess around with dust bandits. But dust bandits have sharp weapons, and hungry bandits typically have blunt weapons. They're probably the best people to beat you up if you had to get beat up. Uh, otherwise, you're very li likely to actually lose a limb or something very important, which you'd rather keep. That you may have grown quite attached to or fond of and don't want getting uh, separated from your body. I think Hiroto is probably going to just have to sit this one out. Because everything's full. I would send him kind of back and forth. In fact, I can kind of maybe send him back, have him do some running while we're doing all this. It's kind of hard to see at night, unfortunately. Especially since sometimes mining, they kind of move into the rocks. Let's fast forward a bit. Once it's daylight, though, we're going to move from mining to actually getting gear and then going out and trying to find something to fight. We're, you know, it's very much possible, especially with river raptors all around, to, if we can't find bandits, that we can just fight river raptors. So that's that's a big option for us. For once it's daylight, at least. And might as well make money while we still can. Because they don't really need to sleep in this game. Uh, unless they're vastly injured. We do have some people who really need to catch up on their hunger. But besides that, we're all we're all okay. We're all 
all okay? Because we got a lot of food and no share from the backpack. We also need to think of maybe we're going to have an animal at one point. Because an animal can carry a lot more stuff than people can. Just both space-wise and weight-wise. They can carry so much. And they also don't... Uh, depending on the one you have, can either provide light, light for labor or not provide light so that you can sneak. If you intend to sneak, get bulls every time, or if you're going to get a Garu, you're going to have to take its backpack off every once in a while or keep it very far away from you. Uh, you can do it, just a lot harder. Um, bulls are definitely, a, the, are definitely kind of the sneaking uh, professional's way to go oh, uh, it's almost day it's kind of getting daylight but not nothing's open at this point I believe it's like six or eight I'm gonna uh, around seven I'll have them run in that way if it is if it was six we won't lose that much time if it's eight it'll be it won't be that much time before we we can do something oh, let's move the, these inside the backpack thank you very much put that there oh and it's seven okay so let's go ahead and get that. Let's pause this here. We're going to get everybody here to run as fast as possible. Actually, I'll have them all run together just in case. I mean, we're, we're all waiting on the slowest guy anyway <laughs> before we go and do anything. Uh, we're going to check on the armor shop. There is also the weapon shop. Uh, there is a weapon shop in here, right? Oh, there's combat going on down there. We may want to actually interrupt. But everyone, oh no, it's already over. With bone dogs. Okay, that could be free food. We'll send Hiroto down. Eh, we'll send Hiroto down there. Well, everyone else is kind of traveling. Whoop. Okay, so I would think it was just the one. We can check it. Do a quick little check. If there was another one, it seems to have moved. Because there's a blood spot here. Oh, one thing that people don't mention a lot about track uh, about Kinchi is tracking. You can you can track, and that, I think that's one of the coolest things about in the game is that you can kind of track things down. It's like a hidden mechanic based off of looking at the forensic evidence at the scene, looking at there's blood uh, kind of in certain places, things like that can all kind of help you narrow down um, different elements. So let's go ahead and. Get Hiroto to kind of get back with everybody. It's going to go into the armor shop. Okay, and then let's have load here. Talk so he can get some gear or sell the gear he has. So he's got a ton of money. He should have tons of money. Oh, he's got high grade. I think, okay, so I don't remember if it was this game where they where the more you spend with a merchant, the, like, or the more you buy from a merchant, they end up buying better goods. I don't remember if that was this game or some other game that I'm kind of superimposing uh, on. But it seems like he's got better quality goods, and I don't know if that's just from us buying uh, stuff and thus giving him a higher budget. I don't really know. I don't know if that factors in at all. The high quality is great uh, because smithing is going to be some of the things we're limited on. And one of the things we, we're going to have a hard time with. We could get Bard to have uh, some gear or Hiroto. You know what? We might make Bard in the new boat scouts and do him kind of like in a way of um, the Flotsam Ninja. Kind of like how we mentioned we were thinking that having, having doubled up and then having maybe Swift do kind of holy nation style gear that way we kind of kind of show that we're kind of middle ground between the awkward night teams by uh kind of mix matching because one's kind of one leans like uh the holy nation you mostly see only uh men in, in, in the, the flotsam ninjas you typically only see women in so that way we're kind of mixing the two teams together and also kind of mix matching their um their uh design and also kind of getting a, a better feel of kind of Ocranite unity in the team. Because I think that's really what this whole campaign is going to be about. Is kind of how this little ragtag group is going to kind of either unite or or side with a side with one of the Ocranite factions. Uh, but until we make that decision, 
Let's pick somebody. <laughs> and stop wasting time. Um, rusty armor is un unfortunately... Rusty chainmail is just unfortunately worse. Uh, then normal chainmail. From what I can tell. It's like pretty much the same price though. <laughs> now this is standard grade. And I think it's actually still... It's barely better than shoddy grade normal chainmail. Well, that's a chain shirt, actually. Okay, so let's get plated. Does he have plated boots yet? He does not have plated boots yet. He has a standard. I think we want to have everything standard first. I know high is gonna like gonna have some level of uh um kind of hard to find quality kind of situation going on, but I think it, it's worth it. So I think Bard and and uh, Bard and Inu will be kind of um, the the kind of the, the lighter armor to the group. And also, I kind of feel like it thematically fits Bards from from a uh, from a uh, any kind of role playing game. Typically, they're the lighter armor. Not always, not always, but typically. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and armor Swift. Here. They're the medic too, so we'll have like a really well geared medic here. Um, in fact, what are their stats? They should be pretty good at being a medic. Otherwise, we wasted our money. Medic and science. I don't know. We'll see. We'll do that. Um. Or we could have a new. That's hard to say. When a new, I was thinking, yeah, no, we'll stick with it. We'll stick it with it the way it is. Yeah, I think we'll go with that that way. Um, they have a Wakazashi right now. I think we want to give that to Inu. I know that seems silly to have them have the Wakazashi. But I think it's better indoor, right? Or no, I guess, hold on, the katana, hold on, no, no, never mind, hold on, let me give it back to them. Because I don't think there's actually much of a bonus. There's an indoor bonus, yes. But I don't think there's an outdoor bonus, like negative. And until we get a new weapon, we'll see. We'll get Once we get a new weapon, we'll change it around. Until then, let's leave it. I want them to use a hacker. Okay, so let's see. Let's think here. Um, leather shirts are going to be good, but I don't want to get really anything beyond... Okay, leather turtleneck is pretty much a great buy for anyone light armored. Because that's going to be... like Leather turtleneck is what you're going to... Unless you're going to do some kind of like darkened or shadowed shirt, that's pretty much what you're going to end up with. So let's give that to Bard, probably. Because I think they have a darkened shirt. So maybe Bard can have the, uh, the turtleneck. You know, actually, these two can switch weapons. Because if he's going to be kind of dexterity, and new here will be dexterity, Swift will be um, strength. Kind of funny, though, with a name like Swift. Makes you think of Swift. <laughs> but they're going to be the one kind of in the heavier armor. This shows you name does not determine career path uh, in virtually anything. Uh, that we have exactly three more cats than necessary to buy this rusty chainmail, and that is going directly to Griffin if he doesn't already know. Okay, Swift is going to get this, and the vest will go to the only person who doesn't. Well, yeah, the only person who doesn't have any shirt, which is Zim. I don't know if their pictures are going to update any anytime soon. If he's in the dark leather shirt, which should give them a sneaking bonus, I believe, right? Yes, a stealth bonus. Gives them a stealth bonus, and he gets a just just bonus from having the fact that he's got more armor, like armor coverage, stuff like that. Let's see, plate long boots. I don't. Yeah, we do. No, I don't know. Actually, we had more money to to kind of spend. Oh, we accidentally bought the chain shirt. Uh oh, put that back. 
I did not want the chain shirt. I wanted the rusty chain mail. Thank you very much. Can't afford it. What? What do you mean I can't afford it? 816. Oh, 63. I'm at 36. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, darn. We're just short. Oh, actually, hold on. And there we go. Hiroto for the win. Um, let's see. Get them the rusty chain mail. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think we're doing good here. A standard grade. That's probably... I think it's going to be just a little bit better than our other chain mail. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's armor coverage. I just want armor coverage on there. I know it's almost probably worse than having nothing because now it kind of penalizes them for other things but we're not really going for the stealth or crossbow or dodge or anything like that and actually having lower skills means it's going to level you up faster so having thing uh, like a bunch of skill boosting things can be bad early on in the game where you really where you can kind of sacrifice being good at stuff because you're really not good at stuff anyway for being just absolutely terrible at it and then getting better at it faster and then switching over to something that exacerbates that by a percentage i think we're gonna go i really it's been a while so i know this is vain here i forgot where hub was and st stack i think it was it's funny coming back it's like i've only a vague memory of the map okay i think Trying to see if maybe I forgot anything by looking at everyone's gear. To see if there's anything I've forgotten. I think everyone's alright. I always found the pants, like, if you look at the pants, for the for some reason the cargo pants always have looked a little bit goofy for me. I Just because there's such like a big, like a poof out at the belt line. I mean, it's not so much a criticism, it's just something funny I've always noticed in Kenji. I don't know why. Because I was always like, did something happen to my legs? <laughs> Wait, am I actually bleeding? I'm, assu I'm assuming, I'm guessing it's thinking of me having this, like, like, like load here, having just an absolute gaping wound. Is it thinking that's kind of what's going on there? I assume that it just means that it's... I don't know. I, I always figured it wasn't so much assuming that it's a gaping wound. Oh, there is a bandit fight going on here. Oh, no. Escape slave. Uh, Holy Nation Outlaws. So, I'm not really sure if they would count as um, Ocranite or not. I don't think I'm going to mess with them. I think we're going to leave the Outlaws be. As much as I would like to kind of decide, make, make a choice here. Because technically, the one group is Outlaws. So... Oh, we can help them. Yeah, why not? Let's help them. First aid. All right, if we're doing an Aquanite playthrough, when you think about it, why would they? In fact, why would they be enslaved? Actually, this is a little mystery, guys. Why are, were they enslaved? They shouldn't be enslaved. I mean, I guess maybe it's thinking in prison. Because the Holy Nation doesn't typically um, enslave anyone other than uh non-humans and this is definitely a human um unlock shackles we're gonna have a low chance there hopefully we don't get some kind of crime going on like it's gonna okay there we go cool and they're an air considered ally now and the little green thing wonder if they oh they're gonna run off you're welcome Okay, so I get, you know, from our point of view, I think from what we're going through here, and when I mentioned about tracking, you can kind of tell a battle happened here, which I always really like. I think that that's probably the best use of, of, of gore mechanics and blood mechanics in any game, is when it tells a story. I mean, yeah, it can be, it can, there can be a spectacle in it, I guess, in some games, but I feel like, like, uh, there can be you can definitely it can definitely be a spectacle, but I think it's best used when it can mean something. I think for any mechanic, it's best used when it can mean something. 
Doesn't mean it can't be used used for fun in, in some games. I think plenty of people like uh I mean plenty of people like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> and that you know and that uses it for a certain way you know, that uses it more for spectacle. But I think that especially in survival S games, it can it can be used way it can use be used really well as a uh as a way of kind of telling a story. I think I may have mentioned the movie Old Con- uh, it No Country for Old Men or something like that before. But you could argue that very much like uh, there's a scene in there's scenes within that which in, in which they use um, kind of aftermath of 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 see of uh, aftermath of a battle to kind of tell a story in addition to the story already going in at hand. Uh, I want to say and kind of, you, yeah, you'd have to see the movie if you haven't seen the movie I'd recommend it. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely neat. It's definitely a think, it kind of like a, like a, uh, it definitely gets you thinking, which is neat. Okay. This actually would be a good base area because it's got tons and tons of iron, iron and copper, bad copper resources though. What are those? Are those oak guards? The shadows were throwing me off. I was thinking that they're huge dogs. Yeah, terrible copper resources though, but many of them, so kind of offsets the pain of that a little bit. Not that copper is really the most important resource in the world. Not really, if, especially for Ocranites, considering you're not doing anything with electronics or anything. I don't remember where th everything was. Oh, guessing a squeaky clean guy like you never drink a drop. Then I should I should get you some blood. Okay, who's talking? Is it load? I think it's load talking. I don't know. Yeah, it's load. There was one time I had one glasses I woke up with no eye, new uh, no uh, no eyebrows and one new si samurai helmet. So I think loads had kind of a history. Who's he talking to though? I must have missed the very beginning. And this is this also ties into where I mentioned they have personalities that are kind of chosen off screen. Uh, even like your starting character. So we know a little bit more about our protagonist here. Um, our little group. Or our leader of our little group. Stack. There we go. Stack's the name of it. Um, which we still haven't named the faction of. I, guess, I don't know if we're really big enough to really be even a faction. We're still kind of a squad. So I think we'll save the naming ceremony for that for once we decide more on what we're uh, our ultimate goal is beyond either you know for load it's kind of at this point just kind of discovery and for Griffin there whoop, music changed oh okay I, my <laughs> my mouse was screwed up it was making them all run in circles there we go. For Griffin there, it's about discovery of a different kind, but still discovery. So I think once they know more about their their respective stories, they'll uh, we'll have a better name for the group. Kind of neat seeing them all run kind of, we call it, in formation here. <laughs> Albeit probably extremely slow. Go down. Yeah, they're what speed are they running right now? Run speed. They're are they running at sixteen or are they? I'm not sure if they're running at sixteen or that's the max speed. Doesn't really matter too much. We could also now there is a thing where you can change your formation type, but I think you have to set people to follow to do that. I'm not really sure exactly. It's been a long time since I messed around with formations. Uh, ooh, we got some more body armor place, but we don't really have any mo anything to sell for money. At least I don't believe so. Uh, I don't know if there's a weapon shop here. If there's a weapon shop, that would be welcome. A bar. I don't know if we got everyone to recruit from the last town. Uh, we may not have, but uh, whether we did or not, we can always check the bars again. We have forgotten. I think someone... I think we forgot... Uh, set someone worth a few thousand too, uh, a skilled swordsman at one point. But we, we'll be going through all the cities again, so don't worry too much about it. 
We got copper over here. Actually, not bad copper resource. Do we have any other resources on there? I don't think we do. Now, you can also set jobs. I know that you could technically set a job to get someone to move something to a storage. I don't think we have, we don't have a storage or anything yet, so I think we can make one. We need to buy a house at some point. It'd be a really good base and staging point. Uh, and in order to do that, we need money. So let's see if we can find a place to make money around here. Well, we wanted to fight, but we kind of let, I, I just realized we wanted to fight river raptors. But we found stack. You know what? I, I, I hate to say this, but I think we're running back. Yep, we found stack, but I think we gotta run back. Because there's nothing here we can fight and win, I think, reliably, without taking anyone possibly a pretty bad injury. And also, this levels up our athletics. Consider a really long distance run, everybody. <laughs> okay, we're going back. Turn around. Everybody head back. Make sure no one's set on block. Now, the thing is, with our heavy armor guys, we can make sure that they're set to taunt, and they can protect everyone else, which is kind of the idea that we want to go with here. Uh, I think we have to watch out, because I don't think all our people have books yet. Uh, Sacred Flame, or the Holy Flame books yet. So we need to just be careful. Are those bandits of some kind? Hopefully. Oh no, escape servants. And again, we don't want to mess with them. Unless they mess with us, we don't want to mess with them. Because we're kind of still kind of wanting to help out all Ocker Knights at the moment. Let's go find some river raptors. Make some money. Make some money the uh, the the fighting way. Ooh, home of the Sacred Flame of Ocarina. Hold on, who's talking about this? Zim! Word has it the flame's been burning for 5,000 years. Okay. See, I mean, that's got to be a work of a god, right? Okay. So, okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all, like, I guess the... Uh, I, no, I guess I wouldn't be skeptical. I guess that would be... Uh, I was going to say we're all the skeptical Akronites. But, no, it seems like that, that would actually... That wouldn't, be, that wouldn't really be a skeptical statement to necessarily make. Not inherently. Unless it was being sarcastic. Let's see. I'm not sure how lucky we are going to get trying to find river raptors. We might even get luckier and find... Oh, no. For a second, I was going to say bandits. Hungry bandits or, or desert bandits. Uh, you can always... T around Squin, you can always typically find some desert bandits. You feel no guilt for messing around with. Desert, uh, or not desert bandits. Oh, are they called desert bandits? Dust bandits. Dust bandits are kind of, uh, aren't so bad to mess around with because, uh, they're kind of just normal bandits, <laughs> to be totally honest. Uh, what do you expect from bandits more so than, uh, bandits that are. Like Hungry Bandits, where Hungry Bandits are actually doing it just because that's the only way they can get anything. Because they're hungry. Alright, so let's let's start our battle plan real quick. So Taunt. Set that to Taunt. And Swift, we want also to Taunt. She doesn't have a helmet, though. So I'm a little worried about that. So I might not have her Taunt. She does have something that will boost her defense. Ah, why the heck not? Let's go ahead and do it. Set them to taunt. If they get knocked down, at least they got some gear. And they probably won't die. Attack unprovoked. Yes, please. Uh, everyone move. Oh, together. Everyone move together for the moment. Once we get in, we, we'll uh, set them to run at their own speeds. There we go. Uh, let's get the, okay, hold on, let's get the, uh, 
the lightly armored people to actually move in the back. I think I, I kind of end up sending them in the front. I don't want to do too many cycle charges if I can if I can help it. Wow, that's very powerful. I want them to actually kind of fight. I want to win a fair fight here. Not not saying that you can't run run back and forth because, as you can say, it's a sandbox. It's not all about fair. But uh, I'd like to actually have them do a stand up fight and see how they do. You know, he's having trouble. All right, do you have any medical stuff? Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to get Swift to kind of pass and do some of the... Well, pass her some of these. And I'm going to have a new kind of go back and heal herself up. Oh boy, somebody's getting real messed up. Was it load? Let's go down the line. A lot of stomach hits. Okay, I don't know. I think we're dividing I think we're dividing up our attacks too much. I don't know about how that's gonna work out. So as soon as someone starts going down, we're gonna be in some trouble. Yeah, they're in Inu is in trouble. Oh she's first aid. First aid yourself, please. You're gonna lose your leg otherwise. Okay, we I think we gotta call it off. Alright, so Gri uh Griff uh Griffin. Go ahead, grab her. Pick up. And everyone else run. Okay, everyone run. Oh, someone went down. Someone went down. That's not good. Okay, so passive. Turn on block. Someone went down. Hopefully not dead. Unconscious. That's all. Okay, that's fine. We want to get them up swift. Can kind of run around. Oh well. Let's run them away. I think we can kind of sneak our way back in. Zim can maybe sneak around. Pick him and pick him up. They're not very fast, so. Hold on. Zim, go ahead, pick him up. And then run him this way. Everyone else is kind of running as far as they can. Zim, come on. We need you to run a little faster. We did a huge... You just did a huge uh, run, Zim. I think you're, you've got this. Hold on. Let's run kind of fast, but not super fast. Because I'm kind of worried if he's going to bleed out on my shoulder. Oh, dying. Yeah, he's dying. Hirodo's dying. Okay, hold on. Swift, first aid, now. Otherwise, he's dead. Okay, put put a roto down. Put him down. Please don't go. Oh, he went into he went into orbit. First aid him when he comes down from orbit, because he's done being a space. A space entrepreneur, not entrepreneur, a space explorer. There we go. I'll have uh, Swift kind of heal people up. Maybe I should have made Swift the the the, the light, lightly armored one because uh, oh they were dying from a leg wound. Are they dying from a leg wound? Maybe from blood loss. Okay, hold on. Let's turn on medic. There we go. I mean, medic's good for everybody. Don't get me wrong, but they're already kind of good at it, and it's kind of good to have someone sneaky doing it. And they've already got a lot of good medical skills. But I, I know I've already uh, what call it? A new slightly more skilled at this point in combat. Playing sabers though. Maybe I should switch it around. And what's their their skill level at this point? What's their science? Of... You know what? Maybe I should switch it around. Hold on. What's a new at?
Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe I'll switch it around. I'll have a newbie the I'll have a newbie heavier armored. I'll swift that. Give a new that. Doesn't really have any different armor value from what I realized. Uh, and we'll have you wear this. Give it me that. Maybe she's already somewhat skilled with sabers. Swift the katana. There we go. And she's already a little bit better at combat, and the other one's already so much better at uh, medical that we're gonna we're gonna put her on. Uh, I might. Uh, it's good to have someone who kind of stands off to the side and watches, so they can rescue people. We'll probably have Swift rescue people. She's built up a little bit of strength, which is good for rescuing people anyway, because you need to be able to carry people. Okay, he's going to be up soon. So, it won't be a total loss there. So, we've switched kind of around. Um, you know what? Whoever's carrying a new can put her down. Uh, put down. Oh, put down. Oh, and she got back right back up. Okay, let's actually see about getting that headgear to a new here. There we go. Alright, so we'll have Swift do the uh, light gear. Alright, or the uh, the ninjing. I don't even know if that's a, that's a proper word or not. I'm not really sure it is. I don't think that's a verb. I don't think it's a verb. I think it's just a noun. Um, I think, well, who's, is someone carrying Hiroto? No, nobody's carrying Hiroto. Let's get him. He's in a recovery coma. So let's get, let's get him, uh, let's get, Swift needs to get ready, uh, or experience picking up and carrying people. So she's, we're going to have her carry him. Because strength is important for the medic. Very, very, very important for the medic because someone's got to pick people up and it's good for the medic to be the one to do it because they're going to be the one with the most um, ability to kind of come in uninjured, very likely, you know, most likely be uninjured and be able to help there. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a Holy Nation patrol over there. Actually, let's see about our spoils of victory over here. We didn't kill them all by far, but we did get some people, or get one of them. So let's go ahead and get something. In fact, actually, I think we only need one person to come over and get it, because I do know that there's fighting going on over there. So let's have Zim come and do it. Let's have Zim come and, and uh, give us some of our some of the stuff. Let's also give load some of the meat, so he may cook it later at the camp. We'll have more food. And I don't think anyone's malnourished still. Hopefully not. I think everyone should be okay now. Uh, recovery comb is going to last a while without a bed, so we might need to get to town. So let's get over here, and let's get this guy here. Uh, fighting it, you know, getting our money the hard way is going to be a lot less profitable than mining. Especially when we have so many people. Uh, it's going to generally be better to get it through um, through the means of simply fight, you know, not fighting for it, but mining it. But uh, it, this will be a long-term investment in terms of skills. You can see we're kind of walking home a little beat up, worse for wear. Oh, we can... Oh, okay, hold on. No, you know, everyone run at their max speed over here. However fast you can do it, do it. Because we're going to get all this free stuff over here. I wonder what they use. They use blunt weapons? That's such a strange choice, though, for light armor. Light armor really is better served doing something other than... I guess they're kind of ca to capture people, maybe. Or I guess they're reflecting that they're recruits. These blunt weapons are not dex weapons. 
you could theoretically create a similar force. But uh, let's see what we got here first. Load's almost here, so we'll have him do it. Actually, hold on. We'll actually be able to find beds here for free. Again, so much free stuff in the Holy Nation. I highly recommend uh, if you just started out, just try to work with the Holy Nation initially if you're doing a human character, just so you learn the ropes. Otherwise, otherwise this is going to be a little bit harder. And if you want harder, go for it. Jump, you know, jump headfirst into it. Uh, if you don't want harder, that's a big recommendation. Then my recommendation would be, if you want to learn, then big a big recommendation would be go to go do an Akronite playthrough first. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Holy Nation, but don't start hostile with them first uh, if you want some time to kind of learn the ropes. But if you want to learn the traditional Kinshi way, Squin is a pretty good one too. Because around Squin, you're not going to have anyone hassle you really. Other than like, th it's probably try to intimidate you. And at the same, but at the same time, you'll also have a. At the same time, you'll, you'll have a safe city to go to. And if you get beat up, it's very likely, hopefully, just from bandits, easy bandits. Oh my gosh, these guys got they absolutely, you know, they absolutely got beat up. Hold on. First aid. I do not want to steal. I just want first aid. Get a swift over here to do some first aid as well. First aid. Also now get load to pick up all that free, free, free leather. And then we'll rest for free in beds. Uh, I don't know if this one has free beds. We might be important. We might be in, 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 out of luck. Oh no, they got on the other side. They got free beds. Good, good, good. It's always good to see. Um, no, is he dead? No, he's just unconscious. Okay, they're okay though. I was gonna say, is he dead? Uh. Let's see, let's get all this free animal skin. If we had a armor factory, we could make, we could make uh, leather out of all these, but uh, we don't right now. Uh, we need to buy a house. We'll probably buy a house in Blister Hill since it is the capital. And it has a lot of stuff in it too. Let's see if, uh, okay. I think we got it. All right, let's get everyone. Let's have everybody hit the hit the bunks. Sleep there. Have sleep here. Put in bed. And there. Let's get everybody worked out. Oop. Let's have Bart over here. New over here. It's gonna be kind of moving slow because she's got a leg injury. Oh, hold on, right there. There we go. That works. I think that works for everybody. Actually, load. Oh yeah, I need to not fall for that the fire again because if I try to cook in that fire, it's gonna to go to them. Let's get everybody healthy. While everyone's waiting, uh, we can. Uh, just kind of go over our plans here. So, Sims, our, our Swift is going to be a medic. Uh, our Swift medic, <laughs> ironically. Uh, Inu is going to be back into doing a uh, Sentinel. We're going to have them do a Sentinel style build. Um, Bard is going to do a Flotsam or, or Ninja build, much like Swift think at least the moment I'm thinking of that unless he adds other skills which at the moment I'm not seeing it not seeing other skills and remember we can always change them it's literally gear based basically gear and skill based once like once they have the ooh, what are you doing Roto, lay down your stomach's way hurt oh, he just woke up I think from his, his recovery coma I think we do need to start getting a pack mule so I think we're gonna buy one 
next next time that we can afford you know, next once we can afford one uh, we're gonna come to one of these farm farms and buy, buy us a uh, uh, domesticated bull just because even though I think they carry a little less I you know I think that the value of not having the light sometimes the light can be good don't get me wrong the lights are really good for for, for mining great on a mining playthrough if you're gonna do a merchant playthrough do it every time or if you need or if you or if you're like an archer <laughs> you can, that's one fun thing you can do you can have them run over and fight somebody and you can kind of practice getting your precision up because you'll shoot them a few times at first but as you get better you'll be able to use them as kind of you, you know you able to use them as kind of a a uh kind of targeter of where since they'll have light on them while the guard is fighting something you'll be able to also kind of do stuff Ooh, we can actually maybe make money here no that merchant doesn't want to talk to us gotcha Oh, here, there was for hoping. I might be able to sell. Hold on, that dog's eating everything. A dog is good for trash cleanup, for body cleanup. So once we get a base, a dog might be something worth it. Uh, until then, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think this is actually the farm. Hold on, farm people are down here. We're a little hurt in the stomach, but that's all. That's fine. Where's the farmer? It's typically a merchant. Typically a merchant amongst all the farmers. Well, it doesn't have to be this one. We can find another one too. So let's have him rest a little bit longer. Because as you can tell, we're not really ready yet. So a bone dog, having at least one bone dog to be kind of like a mascot. Uh, at your base can save you having to have an incinerator or someone dedicated to you being you know taking people to an incinerator however they will mess around with limbs oh we need to make sure no one has block on because I think maybe maybe okay hold on a lot of people have a lot of people have block on I wonder what, oh okay I think I had when I had them doing that while they were running away Starting to wonder if I had it on during the fight. But I do remember them attacking, so I think we we're okay. How are we doing on combat skills? I think a lot of people are kind of bad. Uh, yeah, kind of bad. We can sneak and use some combat dummies, but I'd rather not. We can build a base at some point and do that. Don't know if I want to bother with trying to do the sneaky stuff with as many people as we have. Okay. Think are we are we ready? Not even close. Wow, it's taking a long time for that leg to heal. Yeah, the leg injury is a huge negative. There, I think we may lose a few days of 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 time here. Uh, I think that our next priority needs to be. Selling this stuff and then buying a home in Blister Hill. We want to get a good house at Blister Hill if we can. We want to have a good embassy, so to speak. With the Holy Nation. And see where we go from there. Now, you can't really sell your house. You can only import... Like, you can't really sell your house... If you buy a house, so just consider it. I don't believe you can. I think you can demolish it. I don't really know how that... I never tried to, but I'm not really sure if you can sell your house once you have it. So just be very sure before you get a house in the game if you don't want to have to just possibly demolish it. Uh, for, if you, for some reason, it, or get attacked if you help a different faction. But I think that even if we do go against the Holy Nation, uh, that's it. if we do go against the Holy Nation, Blister Hill would end up getting... You know, it would get attacked by us anyway, so it doesn't matter. And if we do go against Flossum uh, at the end, then we won't have to worry at all. So we're, we're good there, too. So I think we're good all around. Yeah, I think, is everyone healed? Everyone with the exception of her, but I think, you know, the leg injury will just help us run fa run faster once she's healed.
Oh, hold on. I just realized I do not have them all at run at the same time. There you go. I think I had some of them, and I had turned some of them off of that. So they should be all running at the same speed now. Doesn't help that Anu also isn't necessarily used to that armor yet, so... Get the bad teeth here. I believe it or not, I have not seen many Scorchlanders around. I have not seen many Scorchlanders. So I guess uh, it's kind of got to be kind of interesting. So kind of our two leaders of the group are kind of because Griffin's kind of a uh, narrative character. So I figured that he's kind of an important character, ex Sentinel, and then we have the character we start off with, which was former in on in United Cities territory. So really, he's kind of our liaison to, uh, or I should say, and and apparently also had a pretty adventurous life from the the blurbs he said in the game based off his personality. So he's kind of had a kind of a Eventful life. Oh, I think we went to the wrong town. Ah, I think we did. <laughs> this isn't Bluster Hell. Uh, let's go and and just work these mines, though, because this, these mines are pretty helpful money-wise. Hate to get back to the mines, but, you know, what's going to work best, I think? Let's leave Swift out of it this time. Or actually, maybe leave a new out of it because the new is uh, injured. Let them rest while well, he's gonna build a campfire. Campfire right there, and then cook some of that food up. We got plenty of food though. We're not want, we're not, we're not really needing food, but it's just gonna be helpful. We still need to sell some of this other stuff. Let's see. Wow, we are getting iron way faster than we're getting copper. The, I thought the copper, I mean, the copper is really, I guess, oh, oh, well, I guess maybe we have people with lower laboring skill working on the copper. I think we have some pretty good, good miners on the, uh, on the iron. We're gonna have him run back though. Really quick and run to the bar. And sell some of the stuff first. Our strength should be coming up. Because he's been basically wearing heavy weight from day one. So his strength should be pretty decent. 27. Yeah, that's pretty. He's getting pretty decent there. Uh, in terms of. He should be. He's going to be more useful uh, carrying things as time goes on. But I think a pack animal is going to be the end goal here. For sure. Uh, let's get all this food here. Because this is the best for, for price food there is. Is these two. That are here. That are here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that other places may have better for price food. Okay, so we got 6,000 total. And now let's run back. We also get more armor for everyone else that's not a... Uh, that we're going to throw into a Sentinel-style build. Go ahead, dismantle that. Oh, time is money. We're losing money. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get some more copper. Yeah, we're getting copper super slow. Is someone not working over there? We got both of them working. They're just I, I know Swift is new to mining. I, is, is, do we have Swift over there? No, we have Zim. Oh, okay, Zim is new, new to mining. Her, her road is working way faster than him, if you can see the difference. 
Like that, that's work ethic right there. That's some serious work ethic. Zim, he's, get, he's getting used to it. This, and remember, this is on fast forward. So that, that's how fast he's really swinging. Come on, he can swing faster. I mean, he's more, you know, he's mining more. I mean, these guys over here, though, are going to be even better. A little bit. <laughs> they kind of have a thing going on. I was like, one, 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 or one, two, three, one, two, three, or they did. They're slightly off pace with one another. Or slightly mismatched pace. Oh, they already got to five. Wow. We, they're, they're mining that iron so much better. But it is also more efficient, so that, that does affect it, too. Meanwhile, uh, these two are getting to relax, I think. Just because uh, one's injured and the other one is the 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 carrier. Uh, we're going to send load back, actually, for a little bit. Just to get to sell what he already has. And also to possibly get more armor for everybody. I do want to change the helmets ultimately to, to kind of what the Sentinels have. For our people that are going to be Sentinel-style builds. But uh, until then, let's not bother messing around too much with it. A helmet is a helmet for the moment. And all it hurts is, is perception. So we're not doing crossbows right now, so it doesn't matter at all. That person's running into something. I don't know, running just to check on, on, on if we're doing anything shady, maybe. High grade chest plate. Oh, we wanted money for a. Oh no, we did want money for a home in Bluster Hill. So why don't we just save it up, get that home in Bluster Hill? I would really like heavy armor, but I think that everyone else hasn't really reached upgrading into it. So let's go ahead, just focus on getting money for the home in Bluster Hill. Turn taunt off her and turn taunt on her. She's got the armor now. So I think that's what we're doing here. We've ended up somewhat back to where we just began. It's kind of funny. We've kind of gotten back to where we started. But we got some combat in, which I, I, I'm happy about. Got some more food. Again, which I'm happy about. Uh, I don't remember if we, you know, we had already recruited everybody like that. So we got two, uh, we got three totally, three sentinels, or pseudo sentinels, I guess, pseudo sentinels. Um, can we move all of them over? That saves so much space, I wonder why I didn't do that before automatically. When I press the range. Okay, I think that... What we're going to do is send load back one more time. And we're going to... Whoop. Hold on. Let's get cut that. Go in here. Let's get that. And let's get that worked out. Let's get over this way. Oh, I thought I was waiting for him to, was waiting for him to run. I realized I couldn't run. Come on. Get over here. You can do it. There we go. Come on. Okay, so he's saying welcome back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this sold. Ah, uh, that's that's much nicer. Okay, we got some we got some money, and thanks for watching, everybody. I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back. Hopefully, we'll have a home in Blister Hill by ne by next episode or at next episode. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. And then, I wonder what the shop guard did. I don't know. I think they just really wanted to see what we were up to. But uh, we'll go ahead and save it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys all have a good one. All right, see you guys all later. All right, bye.